Wow, when I said Sunday Boho is a very lucky man, I'm not mincing word. But at the end of the day, let's just pray for his release, even in the midst of all of this very strong support that he is getting. Well, I cannot say if this is a support because you know how politicians can actually be. They are not people that can be uh, fully trusted. But in this very case, I believe this is a case that has to do with togetherness, you know, unlike uh, that of uh, Namdi Kanu where a lot of the South uh, Eastern governors are against him because of what they are going to lose. And even in the Southwest, a lot of the um, monarch traditional leaders at the beginning were not in uh, support of Sunday Boho, you know, but now that he has been arrested, a lot of them have been throwing in their way, throwing their support for him. But that is not the issue. Why have they been against him before now? Yes, now they are trying to cover him up. Yes, that's a good thing about the Southwestern people. They try to always cover their own up, cover their shame. Yes, which is a very good thing. But, you know, now the good news is uh, Southwestern governors gather together. Well, can we say it's a good, good news? I cannot really say because you know how these politicians can be. It could be for, uh, for them to gain something or what not. But the thing is... Whatever reason they are meeting, because this report says the Southwestern governors meet for Sunday Google's case. Now, what are they discussing? What are the agreements? What are what is the next line of action for them to take regarding Sunday Igbo? Well, more details, guys, but stay tuned so that you can enjoy and get the best information from here. But please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to like and also share this video. Okay, my dear people, without further ado, let us get right into the details of this report. As it is, it is no more news that Sunday Igbo uh, has been arrested by Bena Republic Police at Cardinal Bernardin International Airport in Kotonou after a failed attempt to fly to Germany. Sunday Igbo is a Yoruba activist, is also an, agitation, an agitator and agitating for the Yoruba nation. Following the information gathered from a report, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwulu, has stated that the trial of Sonegbo, who is difficult times for the Southwest governors, adding that people are, however, working behind the scenes. He said, What Southwest governors are doing about Sonegbo? The governor made this known on Saturday while addressing newsmen at the polling unit, what, unit 9, Ward 8 in Ekoyi 2, where he cast his vote during the local government and council area election. When asked why there was presumed silence of the governors on the arrest of Igbuho, he replied, These are very difficult times for all of us. I can assure you that people are working behind the scene. Recall that the court in Benin Republic, where Igbo and his wife were arraigned, ordered the wife to be released. The court also ruled that Igbo should be returned to custody, and the case has been adjourned till Monday, 26th of July. Well, as it is right now, like I said, these guys are political uh, uh, bigots because the thing is, they're always out for what they will gain. Now, uh, uh, Babajide Somole is just speaking on their behalf. But that is not the reason for them to, you know, come together. They have their own hidden agenda. Why is it that most of them, you ask them you ask them about uh, uh, Yoruba Nation, they'll be like, oh, what did you say? I don't know anything about Yoruba Nation and so on and so forth. Because they are trying to be apolitical about it. That is a major fact. They are trying to be apolitical about it. Because if they are not... You know, they are trying to be political about it because if they are not, they would don't in any way, you know, not support Sunday Boho. At the beginning, like I told you, even the traditional rulers were against him because of what they are going to gain, what they are going to eat. And I was asking someone, do you think if your urban nation exists today, do you think all of this respected king will become kings? And I said, no, it's like having one president for the whole of you know southwestern people 
So what is the need for all of these kings and chiefs and uh, chieftains and title here and there, a king here, a king there? In every little towns and villages, you see king here and there. So they are doing all of this because of what they would eat. That is the basic. Because if not for what they would eat, they would also join the fight for freedom from this terrorizing government. But they are just rather bringing in more people. Hey, why would you leave? What are you doing? You know? But it is important that they understand that this at the end of the day will be to the betterment of their state and their region. Now, remember in Nigeria, there's no region that has respect anymore. There's no region that can even boast of any good thing happening for them. It is just absurd that the Northerners understand that Boko Haram have been terrorizing them for a long time. And now... When we talk about banditry, the truth is the bandits are people in the community who are just trying everything possible to bring down, you know, uh, the, the people in that region. And that is what why you see a lot of bandits, because today they believe they are being cheated. They believe that some people who are supposed to trust them did not trust them. So they, they decided to be bandits. And they felt that, okay, so these other regions, they are trying to boast was that their regions are very calm and peaceful let us give them some of the hotness going on here because i really don't see any reason why people would just wake up and join some groups and begin to terrorize a country and that is what is happening today because a lot of people are under terror attack a lot of people banditry they kidnap people on a daily basis do all sort of things to them so but uh really i just hope that the governors in uh, southwest region would gather indeed and come to a lasting solution something that will bring good to them they should forget about whatever they are going to gain from it it's not every dice that you throw that gives you a winning uh, card so really they should also pray and play the um play the game accordingly because the nigerian government is trying to play smart and if they don't see people who are smart as them this case, you just hear like I said earlier. Once this become a becomes a political thing, Benin Republic will release on the go to, you know, Nigeria, and you know what that could mean. They would not even give him the chance to, uh, you know, for his case to be heard in court. I can assure you that he will be killed because they believe that he has a lot of support from people, and if at the end of the day he's released to them. If they allow him to have such accesses to these people, it's going to spoil their game. So they would not want in any way want to uh, play with what they have really worked hard, so much hard for. So you can see the reason why I'm saying that um, they should be very smart about it, about playing this game with the Nigerian government. But anyway, guys, you've heard it or whatever you have to say, please let us hear from you. Drop it in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.